Hey guys, this is Chris again. I'm here to teach you guys about um, how to make a take, an animated take. And basically, what you see here, I am pointing out up here is the uh, basic positions for a take to actually be, I guess, believable. Yeah, that's better way of explaining it. And um, so right now, I'm about to just go ahead and grab and get into it. So I create another layer. This is the layer I'm going to be animating on. The layer up under it is um, where the positions are and the uh, guidelines. So this is like pure reference. So right now, I am just going to start drawing the character. I'm going to... Oh, made a mistake. Hang on, I'm just going to get the um, pencil tool. I like to do it in pencil tool. And that happened because uh, Flash tends to um, straighten your lines for you. So you just have to put it on um, on ink and it'll just let you do whatever. So I'm just drawing the head of the character. <clears throat> this little cat character I, um, I made up. It's just a rough version of her. And uh, I'm going to use her to kind of get this get this little principle down now, I'm not going to be able to make it all fluid and everything maybe I'll do that in another video if you guys would like it but right now I'm just going to show you how the uh, take is um, I guess structured is the word I'm looking for okay so this is the first position and um, that's why I labeled it number one. And um, basically, this is the neutral position. The head isn't doing much. Okay. Oops. I did insert keyframe. Well, really, what you should do is insert blank keyframe. So let me just drag this out. Okay. And then I'm just going to um, delete this. And now it's a blank keyframe. So I turned onion skinning on to use the uh, previous drawing as reference to the new drawing. So I can draw the number two pose. And number two is kind of a tad bit. It's lower. Also, it's beginning to kind of squash up. So the trick to this is you want to keep the volume of the entire character and the way you do that is if you squish the um, character's head vertically you, you need to stretch it out horizontally that's how I think of it other guys they have all these long explanations but <laughs> I like to keep it simple and uh, also on the ears you see that the ears are going up instead of down with the head that's to create a sense of drag so you want a, you don't want everything to move at the same time then I just um, I squash her shoulders kind of a little bit and that really um, you know that unifies the whole I forgot to lock this layer and also, I'm just going to name this uh, Drawing 3 because uh, classically speaking, they um, always use the odd numbers just in case they needed to put in more in-betweens, which is what we need to do, but I'm just going to finish the uh, entire uh, take, and then I'll tell you like what we could have done to make it even more fluid, okay? So, right here we, we squash the head even more for three. See how I'm pushing that out beyond like uh, what I've been doing. And uh, I keep the ears up in the air just to create that sense of drag. And um, basically what this is doing is, is amplifying the... Um, that's the word I'm looking for. 
um it's, it's, it's more like it's amplifying the uh the hit you know like yeah I, I can't even think of the word right now but yeah it's, it's amplifying or is um <clears throat> see it's it's like further um it's like uh, it's helping you get that anticipation feel that it, the head is about to go up. So yes, yeah, it's, it's like it's that hit that is really amplifying. All right, we make our next, and we're gonna stretch it out now. So the trick to animation is is uh the change. Well, it's, it's, it's all about change. The change in position. So a way to do that is opposites. And opposite, I mean, like if you squash the head, usually you'll um, you'll stretch something afterwards. This creates a nice feeling of contrast. So it's it's it's, it's like it makes your animation look that much better. Okay, and then um, just gonna show her face. In this little worried state, or should I say shocked? <laughs> and so, yeah, speaking of the contrast, basically, you know, like different examples of this is, um, like I said, you do the squash, you do the stretch, um, sometimes you do uh, straights against curves, that's in characters, and, um, yeah, man, you just always want to play your uh, play the opposites. This leads to more uh, fluidity in in your animation, which is which is something that we all want, you know. And um, so we have the uh, first four poses from where one goes into three but, but into the squash and then into the stretch and so basically what I'm doing right here is indicating that um, for this you may need in between so a seven is not a set number I just put that there just to, um, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go back and tweak the t um, timing anyway but I just wanted you to see that um, you you definitely will have to add in betweens to make this into a, a much more smoother uh, animation. But this is just the basics of a head turn. I mean, a, a take. And once you get the basics down, then you could just push those basics and create something that's way more appealing than than just this, because it's just going to be a quick. Quick head turn and see what I should have done with the ears is kind of like made them into like these S curves type ears that way you would have saw more fluidity in them. But for the sake of the video, <clears throat> I didn't want to be too long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave it at that. It's probably not gonna be as much drag as I'd like, but like I said, this is just the basics. And so now I'm just flipping my drawings, which what did you always want to do to see how they flow together? And I think they're kind of flowing. I, I probably fell off character a little bit, but that's just because I'm trying to do it so fast, you know. And so here's the uh, last drawing. And what I tend to do is, if it's the same exact um, position, I just copy that first frame. And I uh, paste it in the last, and I just kind of change a few things, not too much, just a few, just to you know make it feel a little a little different. But in all actuality, it's pretty much the same drawing, and um, that's pretty much how a head take goes. It's about six um, basic um, 
positions well actually you could get away with three I just chose to do six on this one I uh, tried to get as much fluidity out of it as I could and um, it still is pretty rough in the rough stages but you see that it's pretty believable so there you are alright guys